Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa for those of you who are new around here. I am a pharmacist and health coach and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a what I eat in a week. What makes this video a little extra special is that I'm going to share with you how I like to eat healthy affordable foods all throughout the week and how I use these foods which you will see later on in the video in a lot of different ways. So it's like I have a bunch of like staples that I keep on hand and then I use them in several different ways to make all different types of dishes. So that way I'm not always eating like just the same thing day in and day out. And in turn, help stretch the dollar. Stretching the dollar is a phrase that I heard all the time from my grandmother as I was growing up and a lot recently in the last few years as the food prices have gone sky high. So it's basically just like how can we use healthy foods in lots of ways to make all different types of meals that are going to be affordable, delicious, and nourishing to the body by providing us with lots and lots of nutrients. Because something that I learned from my grandmother very early on in my life is that if you are not going to spend money on eating good food, you're going to end up giving that to the doctor later on. And so it's always a good investment to eat healthy foods, nourish your body and take care of yourself. Um, just because the, you know, the alternative can be even more and more expensive. Um, medical bills are just like, and I knew that just from working in the medical field, but it, they can really get out of hand so, so quickly. And it really is worth the investment to take care of yourself, um, especially with what you eat. And that's like the purpose of today's video. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I hope that you guys really enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. Below. Also subscribe if you are looking for healthy, easy to make recipes and wellness tips to help improve your health on a daily basis. Hey there, you guys. So I thought it would be fun to start off this video just sharing like a little grocery haul. Um, I just got home from Kroger. Kroger is the grocery store that I go to every single week and I buy the majority of my groceries for the week from that store. Um, I find that I can get like affordable, like healthy, um, and a lot of times organic foods for a pretty reasonable price there um, compared to some other grocery stores. So there, that's why I do the most like of my grocery shopping there. And I figured I'm gonna share with you guys what I picked up. I didn't need like a ton, a ton of things. So I just got a couple of things um, and I already had a lot of stuff already in the house, but I did pick up a couple of things that I needed for the week and I'm gonna share with you guys what that is or what they are. And then I'm going to kick off the week of meals starting tomorrow, which will be Monday. Okay, so here's what I picked up from Kroger. I got a package of cauliflower. I also got a lot of broccoli. I love broccoli, it's one of my favorite vegetables. So I will be eating quite a bit of that this week. And then I also got a bunch of asparagus here. I love it when they're like kind of thin. I don't like it when they're super thick. I don't know, it's just like my personal preference here, but it just looks super fresh and it like had the thin stalks there. So I got excited and I bought that. I got two red bell peppers. I got a package of these mini seedless cucumbers. I love these in salads or to just eat like as a snack. I also got this humongous container of organic whole baby Bella mushrooms. I usually get the smaller one, but they didn't have it. So I, I bought this, but it's okay. I love to eat mushrooms. So I will definitely go through all of that this week. And then I got, um, for some fruit, I got, um, the greenest bananas that I could find. And I just got two because I already have some, but they are going to get ripe. And, um, I wanted to have some like green ones on hand. Um, okay. And then I got a nice good package of these green seedless grapes. These were on sale. I was not expecting to buy grapes today, but they were $1.88 a pound. So I thought that that was a great price. Pick that up. And then um, I also got two of these organic gala apples. So I got that. And then I also got a package of strawberries. And then for meat, I picked up a package of ground turkey. I'm going to use this for a couple different things this week. And then I also got a whole chicken. And I'm going to really stretch the dollar or show you guys how to stretch the dollar with this. And this is actually fairly affordable compared to a lot of other like ways that you could buy chicken today. Um, whether that just be like chicken breasts or a big package of chicken thighs or whatever it is. But um, I really like to buy like if I'm really 
trying to stretch the dollar, getting like a whole chicken. You can do so much with this. It, this is a really great option. So um, I have that. And then that is, oh, hold on. Forgot one more thing. I got two organic sweet potatoes. And now this is really the last thing that I got. I picked up uh, some more seltzer. I like to drink this in place of soda. So I'll drink it either plain or I will maybe like flavor it with a little bit of lime juice, lemon juice, apple juice is good too. Um, or I like to put this with my Ningxia Red. Okay, so that's what I picked up from the grocery store. I didn't need a ton. I just needed a couple like fresh like produce items and some meat. So um, I will see you guys starting tomorrow for our week long of meals. It's basically like a condensed version of like a lot of different what I eat in a days, but showing you how to use these foods along with some others that I already have on hand um, in multiple different ways to help you really learn how to like, you know, use what you have and like stretch the dollar and um, to eat healthy foods in a more affordable way. Good morning. It is Monday and I am about to have some breakfast. So I have my um, cozy oatmeal here and there's not a lot in here and that's because I'm kind of running late and I'm about to head off for a morning workout, but I don't want to eat too much, but I also like need to have a little something in my stomach. So I am just going to have a little bit of this. So in here, I made my oatmeal using these like quick one minute oats. Um, and then I just like combine it with water and put in the microwave. And then I put on some of this ground flaxseed. Flaxseed's a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, but you want to make sure that it's ground and not whole seeds because um, then you're going to be able to like actually utilize that and absorb it. Then I put just a little drizzle of peanut butter. I get this from, this is a pretty big container. I get this from Costco and it's a good deal because you get two of them and it's organic. Um, and the only thing in here are the peanuts and the salt, um, which is exactly how I like my nut butter. And then I also just put a little like dash of cinnamon on there for taste and health benefits. And then um, of course, some sliced banana. So I'm gonna have this for breakfast. Hey you guys, so I just got my lunch all set to go and I'm about to eat it, but I wanted to share that when I got home, uh, mid-morning snack, I just had like a handful of this trail mix. I made this in my healthy snacks video. And what I do to make this more affordable is that I just buy certain nuts and seeds and dried fruit in bulk. And I usually do that at Costco and it just helps me save money. And I always make sure for the most part, try to make sure that I am buying nuts and seeds that are either dry roasted or raw and um, without salt. And the reason is that I can really customize it and or them and use them in a lot of different ways. So I can make a trail mix with them. I can make granola with them. Um, I can make um, or like bake with them, put them in muffins or banana bread or just anything like that. So that's why I like to buy them kind of like just like just all natural and then I can kind of like customize it as I want. But in here, these are just like raw nuts and seeds and then I even have a couple like dark chocolate chips. Um, but yeah, so that's what I had for like a little bit of snack and then here's what I'm gonna have for lunch. So here's my lunch for the day. I have a scrambled egg and then I also have some sauteed mushrooms that are seasoned with some salt and pepper. And then I also have a sourdough English muffin. This is the English muffin that I got. It's from Publix and um, the ingredients are fairly good on it. And then, um, you know, for store-bought bread. One day, you guys, I wanna make my own bread, but today is just not that day. Um, and then I put on this avocado mash. And so I actually got this from Costco and it just helps me like use avocados and um, it's like super convenient because they're like single serving like cups here and the ingredients are awesome. It just has avocados, lemon juice, sea salt, and black pepper. So it's really nice and um, I put that on here and it kind of helps save me some time and also, also some money and prevent food waste because so many times I buy avocados from the grocery store and they go bad before I can use them. So I really enjoy using like this and then um, on there, I seasoned it with this everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. I got this from Trader Joe's, but I know that um, Costco has it too. So I got that on there. And then I just have a little side of fruit. So I have some green grapes and some strawberries cut up. 
Hey you guys, so I just finished making some dinner. So I made a roasted chicken tonight and it smells so good and it tastes so good because I already had a little taste test. So let me show you what it looks like. So here's my dinner. I made a baked potato. I put a little bit of grass fed butter and some salt and pepper on that. And then I have some roasted broccoli and cauliflower there. And then my roasted chickens here. And I have a wing, I have a drumstick, and just a tiny, tiny bit of white meat. I just like to have like a little sample of like each one. And then um, that is a mushroom gravy right there, mushroom, onion, and garlic gravy. And um, I just put a little bit on just to like let you guys see it, but I'm about to like really load this thing up with gravy because I love gravy. But yeah, so this is my dinner. Hello, you guys. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I just woke up. I came downstairs, got the cat situated, and now I am ready to make my breakfast. And this morning, I'm going to make a strawberry and banana smoothie. So yesterday morning, I only had a half of a banana with my morning oatmeal. So the rest of it, I sliced and froze overnight. And then some of the fresh strawberries that I had, I just washed those and sliced them and froze them as well for my smoothie today. I'm also going to add in some frozen avocado, great source of healthy fats. And then I'm going to add in a really big scoop of yogurt for some healthy probiotic bacteria. And then, um, I always add in my supplements at this point um, as well. Um, I'm also gonna add a little bit of water, but I have my Ningxia greens, I have my collagen, and then I have some Ningxia red. I really like having the Ningxia greens on hand because there are so many fruits and vegetables and even some mushrooms in here than I would ever be able to like purchase on a regular basis and also like be able to consume all of that. There is a lot, a lot of stuff in here. And so for me, this actually helps me to prevent food waste because I'm not having to keep all of those things. And again, this is not like completely replacing all the fruits and vegetables in my diet, but for a smoothie, I really prefer this for that reason. Cause one, I don't have like smoothies all the time. So I don't always keep certain vegetables on hand that I would want to even put into a smoothie. And additionally, there are some in here that like I would never think would go well in a smoothie, like asparagus, but that's in here. And also something else that I really like about this is that it blends seamlessly into the smoothie. Um, whenever I would use like just like spinach or something, it always le left like little like specks all throughout the smoothie. And it just kind of like threw off the texture wise, like texture of the smoothie and it just was not like pleasurable to consume. This just blends seamlessly in. So that's why I really prefer to use this over like spinach or whatever. Also with the Ningxia Red, I'm going to get so many antioxidants from the Ningxia in my smoothie this morning than I would ever be able to probably eat in a day. There is so many antioxidants in here, you guys, and all you need is one ounce. Okay, it's time to blend it up. Okay, my smoothie is ready. It's got this really pretty pink color here. And I like my smoothies very thick. So I don't add a lot of liquids in here. And I usually will just eat it with like a spoon. Probably make it like a smoothie bowl, but I like it in a cup. Get every last drop. All right, there's breakfast. Give it a little taste test. I already know what it tastes like, but. Mmm, that's really good. I'm gonna go eat this and I will see you guys later for lunch. Hey you guys, it is lunchtime and I have made a beautiful chicken salad for myself here. So let me show you what's in it. Okay, in here I have some romaine lettuce, I have some cucumber sliced up, I have some red cabbage, um, I have some chicken, some white meat chicken from the roasted chicken that I made last night, um, chopped up in here as well. I have some red bell pepper. And then um, I also put on some pumpkin seeds, if you can see those. And I roasted them in the oven, so I bought them in bulk raw, and then I took some and roasted them up. And now they have like this garlic, like thyme taste on it. So good, you guys. 
And then on there, the salad dressing that I have is an Italian salad dressing, and I actually make it myself. So salad dressings, the uh, majority of the ones that you can find like pre-made are filled with like vegetable seed oils or lots of sugar or salt or whatever. And there's uh, maybe even some preservatives and they are not super healthy. And it's actually like a huge reason why maybe eating a salad, like when you go out to eat or something, isn't even all that good for you because you're just dousing it in dressings that are just creating inflammation. They're terrible for weight loss. Like there's just so many different things wrong with so many of the salad dressings out there today. And then if you want to get like a healthy salad dressing that is filled with good ingredients and nothing like real bad, they're so expensive. It's ridiculous. So I find I just buy all of the ingredients that I need and I make it in bulk. Italian salad dressing is my favorite, but I do have a lot of um, recipes on my channel for like other types of salad dressings. Um, I will be linking those in the description box for you guys. So in the salad dressing, there is water, there's avocado oil, there is red wine vinegar, and then there is a seasoning mix that has a bunch of herbs and garlic powder, onion powder, all that stuff um, mixed up together. And I have that all in there, I just shake it up and I'm good to go. So um, again, I will leave the recipe for that in the description box, but this is a way cheaper and healthier alternative than buying pre-made salad dressings, especially the healthy ones out there. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit of everything on here. You know, you guys, if there is an attractive way to eat a salad, I haven't discovered it yet, but it sure is really good. You see what I mean? All right, hopefully third time's a charm. Here we go. I did it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys a little bit later. I just finished eating my salad and I'm actually still a little bit hungry. And so I made another avocado toast using those sourdough English muffins, the avocado mash and the everything but the bagel, sesame, whatever it is, seasoning one. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this as well. So for dinner, I made a chicken tortilla soup and I used some of the leftover roasted chicken from the other night. And then in here, I put a bunch of vegetables. I put some chicken broth, tomato sauce. I filmed the whole thing. So there should be a YouTube short on this. Um, and I will link it down below in the description box. And I already tasted it and it's so, so good. I'm so excited. And this is what it looks like. And instead of putting some like tortilla strips on the top, I just crumbled up a couple of corn chips and I'm going to go ahead and eat that. And then I also roasted some asparagus on the side. So here is my dinner and I am so excited. And usually chicken tortilla soup has some diced avocado in there and the fresh avocado that I had in the refrigerator, I opened it up and it was really bad inside. So I'm a little sad that I don't have that. But what I have is that avocado mash um, container that I opened earlier today. And what I'm gonna do to kind of like compensate here is I'm going to just dip some corn chips in here and eat that on the side with my chicken tortilla soup. This is actually my first time making chicken tortilla soup and I think it turned out really good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, I totally nailed that. I'm so excited right now. All right, and we got some chip. We got some avocado. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday and I just made my breakfast. So I made some oatmeal this morning, um, which again is just the quick cooking oats and I have some flaxseed on top. And then I put a nice drizzle of peanut butter, um, a dash of cinnamon, and I chopped up half of an apple. So this is what I'm going to have for breakfast. Hey you guys, so I'm about to eat lunch and dinner was so, so good last night. Truly top 10 recipe right there um, that I wanted to have it again for lunch today. So I basically am having the same thing I had for dinner last night. I have my 
chicken tortilla soup and I put corn chips on top of it again, which I really liked. It's like a nice little crunch in there. And then I opened up another one of those avocado mash containers. And then I am going to just kind of dip some of these corn chips in there. So that's what I'm going to have for lunch. Hello, you guys. So it is dinner time. It is crazy dark outside. This whole daylight saving things is like screwing with my brain. So anyways, it's dinner time and I just finished making some dinner. Um, I don't really have like an official name for this, but it's really good. It is like a ground turkey with mushrooms and peas mixture, I guess. Um, it's a lot better than I'm making it sound. And then on top or underneath it, which you can't see because it's completely covered, is some jasmine rice. And then uh, on the side, I have some leftover of the roasted asparagus and the roasted broccoli and cauliflower from the other nights. Um, and I will give you a nice little view of it. So here we go. Here is what it looks like. I am so excited to dig in. This looks so good. There's the rice. Look at that steam coming off of it. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. So good. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday and I am just about to have breakfast. I almost forgot to film it. And wouldn't you know, I'm having oatmeal again. Um, I don't know what to say for myself, except for that I really love oatmeal in the morning and I have it most mornings. Um, so here is just basically the same way I've been making it. And I just added some fresh banana right on top. So got that. And then I have my decaf tea right there. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Hey you guys, so it is lunchtime. It's actually a little early for lunch. It's uh, only 11 o'clock, but my body feels like it's 12 with the time change. So I'm just gonna go with it and go ahead and eat. And I have a really fun lunch like set up for today. So here's what I'm gonna eat for lunch. Um, it's actually a little like more extra than I usually do if you have watched a lot of like my what I eat in a days, especially like on the shorts. So I wanted to cut up some vegetables to make a barbecue chicken sandwich. And as you can see, I cut up way too many. So I'm gonna put a couple or just a little bit of the lettuce and the cucumbers and stuff on my sandwich. And then the rest is gonna be eaten as a side salad. And then I also had the uh, fruit. So I had half the apple from yesterday that I didn't use for my oatmeal. And then I had some cut up strawberries and some of those grapes. And then of course a glass of water. And then this is a sourdough English muffin. And I'm gonna put this on there in just a second because if I do it now, it's all gonna fall off. It's kind of like a delicate like thing. So, um, but you guys will see it in just a second. So what I did is I cut the chicken, put it in the microwave to heat it up. And then when it came out, I put a little bit of barbecue sauce on it, just a little bit just to give it some flavor. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put the veggies right on top. And then for the side salad, I'm just gonna use my Italian salad dressing that I showed you guys earlier in the week. All right, it's already all falling out, so it's gonna be a messy thing, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. Good morning, you guys, it is Friday. No, I did not skip dinner last night. I was just out and I took dinner with me and I forgot to film it, which is just great, great YouTube work right there. Um, okay, so what I had last night was some of the leftover ground turkey with peas and rice dinner. So I just had some leftover of that and um, now it's breakfast. So I made my usual, are you surprised? <laughs> surprised. Um, this is my oatmeal with peanut butter, flaxseed, cinnamon, and banana. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. And then I also need to pack like a sandwich or something for today for lunch because I'm not gonna be here, but I need to bring lunch with me. So whatever that turns out to be, I will show you guys that in just a moment. Okay, so for my lunch, I just made a very simple sandwich. This is like, there's really not much going on here, um, but it'll like, it'll work in a pinch and it's kind of last minute. So um, this is just like a hamburger uh, bun that I had in the freezer. I love to store bread in the freezer. It'll last you a really long time and, you know, without it going like moldy because um, I don't necessarily eat like a hamburger roll every day. So, um, and then in here, I just have some of that white meat chicken from the roasted chicken. And then I just have some romaine lettuce and that's it. I typically like to put like other veggies and like honey mustard and stuff like that. But if I put sauce on this thing and too many other ingredients, it's going to get like 
too much to eat and like maybe soggy and I might be eating in a car and stuff like that. So I just don't want to like create like a big mess or anything like that. So this will work for me. And um, I don't really mind having like kind of like a plain sandwich. I don't know. I, I like them pretty simple uh, sometimes, but I also like them when they're like a little leveled up too. So you know what? It's all good. So, um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and pack this and get going with my day. Hey you guys, so I just finished making my dinner. So these are some uh, potatoes that I fried up, just seasoned them with salt and pepper. And um, earlier in the week when I made the roasted chicken, I had made some potatoes and I had some extra, so I had that from there. And then here I made an omelet, a veggie omelet. So I have um, a bunch of veggies just left over that I wanted to use up, so I kind of just threw them all in. So I have the roasted asparagus, I have the broccoli, the cauliflower, roasted, I'm sorry, not roasted, um, just regular red bell pepper, a little bit of onion, mushrooms, and then I had a tiny bit of ham, so I threw that in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this for my dinner. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that the next day on Saturday, I took what was ever remaining with that roasted chicken and I made a bone broth soup with it. So I've got carrots in there, I've got the most beautiful bone broth, and it was so good, very nourishing, and a great source of collagen. And another way to stretch the dollar, because now I have several meals of this soup and I can freeze it, stretch it, whatever I want to do. All right, you guys, so I'm going to close out today's video here. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I eat in a week to help me eat primarily healthy, nourishing, whole foods, having some balance in my diet as well, just because life is life. We need to have balance in our diet and also making sure that I am eating healthy foods in an affordable way and helping me to stretch the dollar as much as I can. I believe that the majority of the dishes that I showed you guys, I actually have a video on my channel on like how to make them. So I will be linking those in the description box just in case you saw something that really piqued your interest and you wanna recreate it, then you can figure out how to do that down below in the description box. Otherwise, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please give the video a big thumbs up and comment your thoughts down below. And also subscribe if you want to continue to learn more on how to eat healthy, nourishing whole foods on a regular basis in an affordable way. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.